Hi everybody, John Charles with you again. Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale is happening. I had no intention of going to it. I planned not, I knew it was happening, but uh, if you follow my channel and these videos, you know that uh, I have a lot of Bath & Body Works stuff already, lots and lots of it. My candle cabinet, my allotment is basically full. I don't have any room in it. Uh, I have lots and lots of shower gels. I have lots and lots of hand soap, lots of fine fragrance sprays from Bath & Body Works. I love their stuff. Uh, the only thing I don't have tons of is lotion, although I do have probably, I haven't done a count or even exactly looked, but I know I probably only have like five or six lotions, which might be a lot, but that's not like, you know, a significant back stock or whatever. So I had no plans. I was intending not to. In fact, I'm kind of on a no buy, have been. I mean, I've been able, I got a couple candles here and there, but just a couple, you know, on a sale, whatever. So I've just been trying to use up, you know, what I have, but, um, and I knew this sale was happening. But I went to work this morning, gotten a notification that my prescription was ready to pick up. One of my several prescriptions was ready to pick up at Sam's. Um, Sam's and, and Walmart are together uh, in the same building here in Honolulu, down, uh, not downtown, but Al Moana area. And after work, I was just going to head on down on um, the public conveyance and uh, whichever bus came first that would take me closer to uh, Sam's. That's the one I would take. And a number eight came, which is the Al Moana. And I thought, oh, great. So I will have lunch at Al Moana because Al Moana Center is just literally a block away from Sam's and Walmart. So I'll go to the, one of the food courts there or something and have lunch, which I did. I went to Coco Curry and had a uh, white fish, uh, spinach and cheese curry. Very delicious, mild. I should have gotten spicy, I think. Um, anyway, while I was eating that curry, it occurred to me that, oh, wait a minute. I'm in Ala Moana Shopping Center where Bath & Body Works is and the semi-annual sale starts today. I should, I should maybe go get a couple, see what 75% off on the lotions and maybe I could just pick up a couple lotions because that's the only thing I really could conceivably, you know, use more of or not be ridiculous to get more of. I said, yeah, I'll do that. So I went up before I went to pick up my prescription down the block, uh, saw there were in fact a few different, you know, lotions that were 75% off. And I thought, okay, this is good, this is good. And then I just went back to look at the candles and they just had so many candles that were all $10, which they're never $10 anymore. But on the semi-annual sale, so there were millions of candles at $10. I mean, there were, there was a whole table full of like summer scents, a whole table of uh, spring line, a whole table of like not particularly any season line. And uh, I just thought, oh, you know, there were a lot that I have seen recently um, that I haven't gotten. Like I picked up a couple when they were like $12.95 on sale. I picked up a couple, but I haven't. You know, there were many, many that I passed on that I liked. And I was just thinking, you know what? I think I'm gonna get some candles cause 10 bucks and uh, yeah, so. Instead of buying anything right then, I said, let me go get my prescription first up the block. So I went and picked up my prescription at Sam's, came back to the store at Alawana and uh, grabbed my basket. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm here to shop. I'm just gonna buy some candles at 10 bucks and figure out where I'm gonna put them later. And pick up some lotions. I'm not going to get soap. I'm not going to get uh, 
shower gels or fragrant mist sprays or other things. Not that they didn't have anything, they did, but um, you know, I'm like, I have a lot of it and I'm okay with just going, I don't need that, but I could get some lotion and I'm just gonna get whatever the heck candles I want that I have passed on, I'm just gonna do it. So I did, and I got uh, nine, I got nine candles. <laughs> And uh, I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five lotions. I ended up with six though, because while I was standing in the checkout line, one of the uh, sales associates kind of went out in front of her register and reminded everybody that if you were a members, Dr. Body Works members, reward, member, whatever it's called, which I am, um, to have it opened up and ready to scan for any rewards that you have. And I thought, oh yeah, I might have a reward, mightn't I? I didn't even look. And I did. Opened it up and I could get a, anything up to 16, whatever, 1695 for free. Now I'd already waited almost through the whole line by that point. So I'm like, well, I don't wanna go out and like look for something and get out of line and I, they had, you know, some stuff close to the line, how they do that, and little displays of things and racks of certain things. And they had uh, candles and lotion and everything in Butterfly. And I thought, well, it's free. I might as well, I think I have a candle, but I might as well just pick up a body lotion in Butterfly because it's free, uh, which is raspberry nectar, iris petals, airy vanilla. Boy, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's funny. Okay, I'm definitely smelling butterfly. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, definitely a kind of more of a feminine uh, fragrance, but I don't care. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I don't care. If the scent is like feminine, what you would call feminine or masculine, whatever like if i just like a scent i like it if i don't mind smelling like that i don't mind smelling like that and butterfly is nice so that's what i got for free then the other ones i got were either they had a table that was what 395 that some of these were on and then other ones a couple of the other ones were on a 75 percent off which made them something. How much are these? $14.95. Um, okay, yeah, $3.95, three, which made them $3.74 if they were 75% off. So kind of the same price about. So I picked up just different scents that I didn't have that were there that were nice. I'm a little scared to open them up and smell them now, but <laughs> Calypso Clementine body lotion. I didn't get any, any of the, um, that's a nice one. Um, Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar and Coastal Woods. Uh, I didn't get any of the body butters or creams or whatever, because I have had those go bad in the past had them for too long and they turn weird cottage cheesy and whatever where these lotions don't turn bad like that i've had some for years that have never turned um this one again i i i missed when this came out but whatever luminous they have it in everything baby current gilded iris praline amber but again it was nice a little bit light I really liked this one, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake. Yeah, I like this one. Lemony, but slightly, not, I guess slightly bakery. It doesn't necessarily smell like anything's baking, but it has a little bit of a cupcake-like element to it. I swear when I held on to this, it seems smaller too, but I guess it isn't. It's 
like, are the new ones smaller? And then I got two in the same line. Uh, Confetti Daydream, Fresh Raspberry Sparkling Pear, Blue Iris. Yeah, kind of light on the pear, raspberries, light on everything. It's kind of more iris than anything, I think. Um, and this one, cotton candy clouds. Who doesn't want to smell like cotton candy? Spun sugar, pink berries, whipped vanilla. Mmm, that's delicious. That's sort of like sort of like cotton candy ice cream, really. I love cotton candy ice cream. Anyway, those are the five lotions I got. Six lotions, <laughs> six. Okay. Now let's look at these candles. I got nine candles. I did pick up one. Everything was not all the candles. I thought all the candles were $10, but they were not. I did pick up one. I didn't realize it wasn't $10. Uh, Starfruit something, like Starfruit Colada or something like that. Definitely Starfruit. Um, and it rang up at 26 And she's like, oh, yeah, no, this was regular price. And I was like, oh, no, put that back. No. So I got nine. I got a couple from this line. I don't know exactly when this came out, probably recently, because I really haven't seen it, where they're combining different scents. Um, this one was In the Stars with Honey Crisp Apple. Really nice. I think I have an In the Stars candle. I don't know if I've burnt it yet. I probably have a shower gel in it, too, or something. Starflower. Sandalwood Musk, Golden Honey Crisp Apple Blossom. So it is like a florally apple. Really nice. Smells fairly strong too. Let's see how this is. White wax. It seems like everything is white wax these days. Is that just my imagination or? Yeah. This one, oh, loved this one. Plumeria and Sugared Lemon Zest. So good. Uh, pink Plumeria, Night Blooming Jasmine, Bright Lemon Zest, Fresh Sugar Cane. Mm. Love Plumeria. It's a very popular flower here. They grow all over the place. A lot of Lay's are Plumeria. Very heady aroma. It's very nice with the lemon. Maybe this one doesn't seem quite as strong, but we'll see. We'll see. Love it. Have you gone? Did you go to the sale? Are you going to the sale? Are you skipping it? Are you buying a thousand things? This is one, I can't remember what collection this was. Like, I think it was like certain people their fragrance creators created their own special fragrances or something. I don't know. It's kind of a lame package. I don't know. This one is Anna's Garden. Fragrance created by Gwen Gonzalez. Not a fan of the packaging. Uh, Orange Blossom White Tea Jasmine Musk. I am a fan of the scent though. Boring white wax. Yeah, this is nice. Very grassy. Very green. I do get a musk and I do get a little bit of a tea element in there. It's good. I got another one in that line too, I think. Uh, that I almost got the last sale they had, the last time I got candles, but I eliminated it. And I kind of regretted it, and it was one of the first ones I grabbed this time. Uh, also, I think from the same line, fragrance created by Linda Song, designed by Kenneth Iwatachiam. Although, I mean, I don't know how much of a design is there really in that. But it's ginger and hinoki. 
fresh ginger, hinoki wood, orange zest. I don't usually like ginger. I don't like ginger in food that much. I don't like ginger. It's okay. a little bit of it as a seasoning is okay, but I don't like really where it's predominant in something. And here to me, it's not predominant. I mean, I guess I feel like the wood is a more predominant scent. And the ginger is, it's not tangy and sort of bitter. It's just slightly astringent in there. I don't know, it works very nicely. It might be kind of light. I'm not sure it's super heavy, but we will see. I'm just pulling these out now, I don't know. I couldn't remember whether I got this one or not because I did get some candle last time and I didn't check, so I don't know, but I don't think I did. Uh, sweet Kiwi and Star Fruit, maybe I did. It's so pretty. I like the packaging and it smells so good. A Golden Kiwi Juicy Star Fruit Solar Woods. I don't know what solar woods are, sunny woods. Yeah. Mmm, it's sweet. I mean, kiwis, kiwis don't smell. Kiwis and starfruit, I don't, I think both of them are somewhat, this is definitely like kiwi and starfruit, but kiwi and starfruit bro, both in real life are kind of watery scents. And this is much more intense than that. This is like a very intense kiwi and starfruit. And I'm here for it. And this smells like it's gonna be very strong. I like it. It's still white wax though. You think it's gonna be blue, right? But it's not. I mean, what difference does it make? I guess when you're burning it and melting it, but. This one, yeah, I didn't know what this was about. I missed the release of this somehow. Number 42, there was another number there also that I didn't care for that much. It was okay, kind of a coffee base thing. But this is sweet cream, fresh cinnamon, vintage leather. I don't know, is, am I missing something? What is this about? Is number 42 like some famous perfume or something? I don't know, but I like it a lot. The cinnamon is subdued. It's not like an in-your-face cinnamon. Leather, you definitely get leather. With a little bit of creaminess. So this is nice. I mean, this is like having a, like maybe a steamed milk that's very lightly spiced in the study. Mm. Very nice. Very masculine, I would say too, if you're gonna look at it that way. Okay, this one, <laughs> I think it's these next two. I really liked this one. I don't, if I didn't smell it before, I just decided not to get it or whatever, I don't know. Hate the packaging, hate it so much. But blue verbena and lime, oh, this is really nice. Nice. Sugared lime, zesty verbena, garden thyme. It's an herbal, it's a, a sweet lime, I would say. A sweet lime that's not super heavy kind of a light sweet lime with a little bit of a green element that's slightly sweet this is very nice this is very nice I would I mean I guess it's sort of a not gendered scent but I would almost say this is kind of a masculine scent to me like this would be a great cologne. Mm. Nice. What is verbena? Isn't it kind of like vanilla? I don't know. I guess the next three, the next two I got, last two are in that line also. Uh, this one's kind of weird, I don't know, but pink lavender and espresso. Espresso, espresso. Here's a possibility I got this a while back. I don't know, <laughs> I haven't checked, but today I'm like, ah, for 10 bucks, we're getting it. It's just weird, <laughs> but I like it. 
I don't get coffee scents very often because I work part-time in a coffee shop, so I have coffee all the and I brew coffee all the time, but I don't know. It was the idea of like, who would put lavender and espresso together? But it kind of works, but not really. <laughs> Rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. I mean, I guess, you know, we have a vanilla, lavender, rather a lavender latte. We're doing a lavender, at my workplace, they're doing a lavender dream special the past, last month, uh, which was lavender, um, vanilla, and honey in a latte. I'll be honest, I haven't tried it. So I just, the idea of lavender in coffee just doesn't really appeal to me, but... And this is so weird. I don't know why it appeals to me. It is weird. Because it's definitely espresso. This is a very strong espresso scent. And that lavender is there. And it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm sort of... I don't know. I got it. This one was the only one in the store. This last one I got that I could see. I didn't see any more. And I'm like, how did I miss this one? I don't remember anybody reviewing this. I'm sure somebody did, but I don't remember it, seeing it anywhere. It's balsam and bergamot. Now I'm pretty much there to try anything balsam because I just love Bath and Body Works. Balsam scents are great. Fresh balsam and then almost anything else they've done using fresh balsam I've liked. So this one I've not smelled, but balsam branches, crisp bear, zesty bergamot. I was also like, not weird, but when I thought of this one, I'm like, I don't know, like balsam and bergamot could be good. The balsam's not super strong on this though. I would say the bergamot is definitely heavier. I mean, I get more of like an Earl Grey tea thing going on. Like if you made an Earl Grey tea with a little pine cone in it, maybe, or something. You know, one of those like unfolding tea blossom things that looked like a pine cone. Except it was bergamot tea. I don't know. I just don't know. This was kind of impulse. I mean, sort of like, well, let's get it. It's balsam. Let's see what it, how it is. So I got that one. So those are my purchases. Um, one, two, three, five lotions, plus one that was free, and then nine candles. My total was 100 and, well, before tax, was $107.47. Um, with a savings of $196. So... That would have been like $300 worth of stuff, basically, that I got for 100 So that was pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. And uh, I'll, I'm not exactly sure where to put these. I'll figure out something. And uh, I don't know. We'll make it work. So have you tried any of these? Have you had any of these ones I got? What are your thoughts about them? Have you been to the SAS? Are you going to the SAS? Do you have too much stuff already? <laughs> I remember when I first started like doing Bath and Body Works stuff, however many years ago now, I don't even remember, many years ago. And when they had the semi-annual sale, I would absolutely lose my mind. I mean, like they were crazy then though. The sales were crazier than they are now. They're much more controlled. I mean, I remember going to those SAS sales and things were just in bins. They weren't like all organized nicely. And I mean, they were everything was like tables of like bins that was, this is all 50% off. This is all 75% off at some table. And it'd be like six tables of like craziness going on of things 50% off and things 75% off and, and candles at 75% off too. They did have a couple of candles at 75% off. 
Uh, I didn't get them. They weren't ones I was that crazy about, but um, they did have Twisted Peppermint. And I thought, do I have Twisted Peppermint at home? Because I'm pretty sure I do. I thought, should I pick up another one at 75% off? Anyway, I didn't. I just got the $10 ones. But y'all remember those crazy Bath & Body Works semi-annual sales? And I would just lose my mind and buy tons and tons of candles. I mean, I would buy just giant bagfuls of stuff. And I I just don't do that anymore. Cause there's, I mean, it take me years to get through all of that. I do go through lotions. I mean, I use lotions every day and all that, but still, you know, I'm one person, like how much, and I don't bathe in it. I mean, how much, how long is it gonna take me to go through a bottle? So I'm, you know, being more conservative with that, but those sales were crazy back in the day. But this was a good one. I mean, I. Will I go back? I, I say, oh, I don't know if I'll go back. And of course, I'll probably go back at some point next week and see what's new. Cause they are always, they put new stuff out there while I was there. They switched some 75% off candles and whatever. Anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that and please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know if you got any of these or what your thoughts about them are.